Good, and now to our new series, Game Changers. In this month, this Women's History Month, we're introducing you to women who are breaking down barriers while creating a better world for everyone. I'm so excited because this morning we're kicking things off with Maggie Grau, who is using cutting edge technology to make education more accessible. Maggie, welcome to GMA. And I love what you did, what you're doing with Thinking Hut. You were just 15 years old when you founded your nonprofit, Thinking Huts. So tell us what it is and why you're so passionate about it. So Thinking Huts is the charity that leverages architectural scale 3D printing to build schools and we're currently working in Africa uh, with a current focus on Madagascar and I'm personally really passionate about education because I was born in a rural village in China and later grew up um, most of my life in Colorado and um, it changed the trajectory of my life and I hope that we're able to do just a fraction of that for other children in the world. Well that's really amazing at 15 that you realize this. So how many schools have you built and, and what do you hope for the future? We opened our first one back in 2022 and our current focus is on our Honeycomb campus slated to be Africa's first 3D printed school campus powered by solar and Wi-Fi and our hope is really to bring charity mainstream because not many have been able to bring it into pop culture and so that is where the trajectory will hopefully take us as we scale. And, and so what kind of feedback have you gotten from the students? They're really inspired, like in a lot of developing countries, they don't really dream of what could be possible. Like here in the US, they dream of being like the next football star or Hollywood actress. And I think it just gives them hope that they can do mm -hmm. a lot more. And what were your biggest challenges with Thinking Huts? And how did you get through though, to break through those challenges? Mm, I think just starting so young at 15, like I'm now 24, almost a decade later, and it's even now a challenge, like with, um, I think, being taken seriously and being underestimated. Um, I think with women CEOs particularly, less than 3% are able to raise venture funding. So it's a constant like uphill battle in trying to get more people to understand the vision. Yeah, and, and but it's, it's, what you're doing is amazing. Almost a decade later, and in Thinking Hutch, you made made an appearance at the Oscars on the red carpet. Oh yes, we did. So Louisa Abel, she was part of the team that won Best Picture um, for Oppenheimer, and uh -huh. this is the pin that she wore. We brought one for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's um, our Kingfisher logo. It represents peace and prosperity. Peace and prosperity. Something we can all use. Let me put that on right now. Represent so the cause. <laughs> so stylish, yes. And for the, we got so many young people who are watching right now. What is your advice for them about having a big dream uh, and, and making a difference and making it happen? I think a lot of it is persistence. I got so many no's and I still do and you just have to believe in yourself and keep going because eventually it will happen and you'll find the right people. Um, like family is really important to me and mm -hmm. um, I think having that support system and finding other people who also value that is how I got here today. And I love you said it has so many no's and you still do, but you keep on going and now look where you are. We're on GMA celebrating no, you as we should. I don't know how we got here. <laughs> yeah, you know how you got here? You got here through your hard work and your oh. dedication, your commitment to help other people. Oh, and well, I think that's you. special. Maggie, thank you so much. I'm glad we kicked this series off with yes. you here today in Thinking Hut. So congratulations. And for day two of Game Changers, we're going to have the teen who created her own technology to fight back against cyberbullying. You're going to meet her tomorrow on GMA. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.